bed. I took notes. <laughs> Swear to God, I'm that big of a dork. So, um, you know, as I watched that so much of what we do, not just me, but you, we watch sports and then we observe something and then we have an opinion on what we observed. And as I sat there watching it from a hospital bed, sweating, it's part of the medication, notes, no distraction, I'm fascinated with Tom Brady. And I always have thought he's a great leader, but it's beyond that. There's a lot of great athletes, lots in all sports. There's a handful of great leaders. And then there's this inspirational thing that you can't quite quantify, um, where, where, you know, it's the you don't want to disappoint somebody. Brady has the rare ability to play poorly in stretches, three interceptions, second half at Lambeau, and he never loses it. Uh, he has an ability to not be the most important person in the game. Super Bowl, it was the front, defensive front for the Buccaneers, and yet he never loses it. That so much of what Brady does is hard to quantify is that he has the ability, and I, I grew up watching a lot of great broadcasters, and I always thought Oprah was the best at this. Not only was Oprah great at what she did as a broadcaster, but she curated other broadcasters through her network, and she actually inspired her audience. She was the first person, Ellen did a good job to take the baton from Oprah, to kind of inspire her audience. Brady did something with the special teams in Tampa that's hard to fathom. You watch football, I watch football. For the last decade or more, Tampa special teams have been a tire fire. But yet in the playoffs, often on the road, they were really strong. Tampa's offensive line, as Tom joined the team this year, was middle of the road. Nobody thought they were elite, yet they went to Green Bay, Kansas City. They were a dominant unit against the Chiefs' defensive line. Ali Marpet's a guard, went to Hobart. Came out 12th best guard, 13th best guard, 12th best guard. After Quentin Nelson, is he the second best guard now? Tristan Wirfs was the highest graded player right tackle in the Super Bowl. Ryan Jensen, the center. Who's better at that position than him? That offensive line was middle of the pack last year. I'm not blaming Jamie, Jameis Winston. I'm saying is Derek Jeter was a great leader, but he couldn't take a 265 hitter and have him hit 300 in the playoffs. LeBron's a great leader, but he never could make Kyrie Irving a great defender. Tom Brady made Tampa's offensive line a powerhouse. He took their awful, unreliable special teams and down the, strength, uh, down the stretch made them a strength. So that, that's beyond leadership to me. That is inspiration, and so few do it. And Brady has the ability to play poorly in stretches, to not be on the field for long stretches, to not be that important at individual games, and yet he is inspiring other players. Scotty Miller, a wide receiver, uh, was on with Nick Wright last week and discussed this very thing. Right away, we just saw his competitiveness and his, his work ethic. Um, I always say that it's just a testament to who he is. He's outworking. He's done everything you could possibly do in the sport. Everything you could dream of doing, he's done it. The best to ever do it. And he's still out there at 43 years old. I think he is outworking everybody. But then as far as this, uh, that fiery side, I mean, we saw that right away, even with us, when we weren't running the right routes, just getting on us, but in a, in a positive way too, because he, he wants to get the best out of you. He wants to get the most out of you. This was not a talent story. And to prove it, go back to week 13. Nobody would argue what I'm about to say, including the Buccaneers. There was a lot of turbulence until about week 12 or 13. Nobody thought this was a Super Bowl team in week 10, 11, 12. Then they had a bye. From that point, that, that late season bye, they went 8-0. Dominant offensive line. Better than average special teams. Uh... Run game. So in that moment, when they finally, no preseason, they finally got Tom in season for 10 days of practice and inspiration, it totally changed the football team. Of course they weren't good in September, October. They had no preseason. It wasn't until they got a bye at the end of the year or near it and Tom 
could teach and mentor, that goes beyond leadership. And so much, you always hear stories about people only use 10% of their brain, with rare exceptions. You hear stories about people can lift a car or lift weight. That's not about leadership. You're being inspired by something. You're, maybe it's fear. Maybe it's the fear of losing a child. Maybe it's the fear of gaining something. Wh- 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 whatever it is. When I sat in that hospital bed and I watched that game, so much of what we all do with football is watch, observe, and comment. And so much of what Brady does is not on television. You can't quantify it. And you're going to see all these teams. There are going to be so many teams. Rams with Matt Stafford. Uh, Watch the Bears go pay for Carson Wentz. And the Jags are going to draft Trevor Lawrence. And they think it's going to be this magic elixir. It's going to solve all their issues. And they may be better at quarterback. But the big arm and the mobility and all the hype, I can see all that. What Brady does, I often can't. All right, so I was off 